Hey, David here with DIY Mountain Bike. I'm gonna talk a little bit about Schrader valves. Just watched a video, I was writing an article. It, it could have been, well, better explained. So Schrader valves, common on bikes, you'll see them on air conditioning systems, you'll see them all over the place. A very reliable valve system used for over 130 years, I think at this point. Diameter is a little bit wider. It has that screw off cap that I just showed. I'll flash on a picture of a Presta valve real quick so you can see what that looks like and the difference. Schrader valves, thread on the outside, and it's got what's called a core, a valve core, okay? That little valve core operates on a, actually on a little spring right there. That pin opens up the bottom of the valve, releasing air. Very easy for that pin that little pin right there to get bent real common thing to happen what happens it doesn't flow air back and forth well always use a blunt tool so here we're using a, a wrench so that's a way to take air out i love this little stands core remover got this side for the schrader valve if you look at it real close it's got a little fork i've got an old tool from I don't even know where, but I'll I'll link up to these kind of things in the description. But the little valve slips over the pin and onto the valve core itself. Be careful. We got air pressure here. Don't want this thing flying out. But you can actually unscrew it. See, I lost it. Unscrew it quickly. Let that air out. You'll notice a little trick here, right? If you try to air it up at this point, no valve core in there, right? It pokes down in. Let me pick up that valve core. So here's our valve core. Easy enough. Slide that in. Again, using our tool. Screw it back in tight. Valve core. What's things that happen? We talked about bending that. If you are on the road and you accidentally bend that thing, if you can take the core out, sometimes you can bend it so it will function again fairly smooth a lot of times not tubes aren't that expensive you should always be carrying a couple extras all right airing up these things a lot of the bike pumps anymore have two ends small end is for press the valve larger end for our schrader inside there you'll see that square shape that's got to touch the the valve right that valve pin again I'm going to force my thumb behind it, pushing it out. And this valve operates in such a way that you flip the lever in the opposite direction. And it grips on, right? Air up. Get a gauge, air pressure gauge. Essential, right? So that is airing up your Schrader valve. A little bit of repair things. Again, you can buy extra valve cores. Tubes aren't too expensive. Usually when the valve core goes bad, it's, it's time to get rid of the, the unit itself. 